All right, so I'm going to share the screen. Over here, we have the clothes. Are you seeing the PDF? Yes. Estamos viendo el PDF por acá. Es el fondo amarillito. Yes. Okay. Perfect. So today we are going to see a new topic. Yes. It's about clothes. So it is about prendas de vestir. Okay. Clothes. It's a very easy and short topic. Es un tema muy, muy sencillo, muy corto. Um, está enfocado más que todo al vocabulario. Yes, we are going to work on vocabulary. And after that, we are going to see another topic. Después de terminar este tema, vamos a ver um, el tema de los medios de transporte. Como los medios de transporte es un tema un poco más extenso, El día de hoy vamos a ver una partecita, una abrebocas a los medios de transporte después del tema de, de las prendas de vestir. Y el día de mañana continuamos, ¿ok? So, this is going to be the schedule. Este va a ser como un poco el, eh, el cronograma de la clase del día de hoy, right? So, clothes. Clothes. Today is going to be about clothes. So, here we have this image, yes? And we have the description, this is a hat. This is a hat. Esto es un sombrero. Very good, Paula. Esto es un sombrero. We continue. This is a coat. This is a coat. Esto es un abrigo, right? Coat. We continue. This is a jumper. This is a jumper. So according to the image, you know what a jumper is, right? We continue. That is like sweater, see? ¿sí? Sweater. I'm going to raise this. This is a t-shirt. This is a t-shirt. So look. T-shirt. Camiseta, ¿sí? T-shirt es un poco más informal. La camiseta. Porque camisa, decimos shirt. Shirt, solita. Camisa, ¿sí? Es una camisa manga larga. T-shirt ya es una camiseta. Es yes, manga corta. T-shirt and shirt. That is the difference. We continue. We need to raise this. This is a dress. This is a dress. Esto es un vestido. Right? Vestido. We continue. This is a skirt. This is a skirt. How do you say skirt in Spanish? How do you say skirt in Spanish? What is that in Spanish? Falda, yes, correct. Skirt. Pay attention because um, we usually uh, confuse this skirt with um, here with shirt. Muchas veces confundimos shirt con skirt. So pay attention to that. To the spelling, yes, a la escritura. Hay que prestar atención a la escritura. We continue. Here we have. Trousers, trousers, these are trousers. Recordemos que si la palabra ya está en plural, utilizamos la estructura. These are, estos son, these are, estos son pantalones, ok? Trousers, pantalones. We continue. These are shoes. These are shoes. Estos son, recordemos, estos son zapatos. Shoes. Shoes. Um, esta palabra shoes se puede referir um, a zapatos en general, ¿sí? Lo que incluye botas, sandalias, etc. O, si la vamos a utilizar un poco más específica, 
se puede referir a unos zapatos un poco más formales. Yes. That depends on the context, depende del contexto. We continue. Yes, um, here we can also say pants. También podemos decir pants. Pants. Both are correct. We continue. Well, here we have a little game. We have this game. Yes, on the left, we have the clouds. Yes, on the left. On the right, we have the options. So, what is the correct option here? What is the answer? Right. Well, this one we can see that is a jacket, but it's better to say that it's an overcoat. See? ¿Sí? Es como un abrigo un poquito más larguito. So we say overcoat. Overcoat. Right. We continue. What is this? What is this? Very good, Luz. Very good, Caterine. So that is a blues. Yes, for women. For women. Para las chicas. En las mujeres. Blues. Recordemos que t-shirt es una camiseta. Entonces no tiene manga larga. Yes. T-shirt. All right, we continue. What is, well, what are these? What are these? Very good, Sandy, Paola, Luz. Boots. Yes, boots. Kind of similar to Spanish. Boots. We continue. What is this? What is this? Very good, Marcela, Luz, Lady. And Natalia, that is a scarf. Scarf, bufanda. Yes, a scarf. Bufanda. We continue. What are these? What are these? Do you think? Very good, Marcela. Paula socks. Yes. Very good, Caterine. Well, in fact, there are two options. We can say these ones: stockings or socks. Yes, two options. Two options. Both are correct. Stockings is correct. Socks is correct. Yes, no problem. Two options for saying medias or calcetines. Yes, stockings or socks. We continue. What are these? What are these? Very good, Nat Natalie, Paola, Luz, Camila. Shirts, shirts, shirts. We continue. What is this? What is this? Very good, Luz, Natalie, Sandy. Oh, well, take your T-shirt. Have to be careful. T-shirt. T-shirt, because it's una camiseta. Yes, it's informal. It's informal, so T-shirt. Recordemos, shirt is manga larga. Sí, una camisa manga larga. Nosotros muchas veces incluso en el español nos confundimos. Camisa, camiseta. Yes, but T-shirt, manga corta. Yes, we continue. What is this? What is this? Very good, Paula and Natalie. That is a jacket. Jacket. Yes, jacket. CK. CK. Pay attention to the spelling. We continue. What is this? What is this? Very good, Andres, lady. A tie. Tie. Yes. It's for men. Most of the time, they are used by men. Yes. 
Tai. We continue. What is this? What is this? Very good, Caterina, Sandy. Dress. Dress. I sorry, no. No, we don't have the complete here. We have skirt. Skirt, skirt. I'm sorry. This is skirt. Dress tendría que ser el vestido completo, ¿sí? Solo tenemos la falda, por lo tanto, decimos skirt. Solo la faldita. Yes? We continue. What? are these what are these very good paola caterine globes globes okay guantes globes we say globes we continue what are these what are these Trousers, yes, very good, Luz, Andres, Marcela, trousers. Remember that a synonym of trousers is pants. Yes, we can also say pants. Trousers, we continue over here. What is this? That's very similar to Spanish. Correct. So, pijamas. Ay, a veces me llegan un poquito tarde acá los meses. I'm back. I'm back. All right, all right. I'm back. Ya volví, ya volví por acá, se me fue. Um, meets. Clothes, clothes. Okay. I'm sorry. Are we seeing the presentation? Yes? Okay, thank you. So, pijamas. Yes, pijamas. Very similar to Spanish. That's a similar word to our language. Here, what is this? What is this? A dress, yes, a dress. You know what is a nightgown? What is this? You know this in Spanish? Nightgown? Well, nightgown, that is, um, es una pijama, ¿sí? Es a pijama, es una pijama eh, de bata larga, de bata larga, que utilizan eh, las mujeres. Generalmente estas salen en las películas de miedo, ¿sí? las niñas que siempre salen con esas pijamas blancas. Nightgown, nightgown, ese es un nightgown, nightgown, over here. Eh, but this one, ay, this one is a dress, yes, this one is a dress, over here, dress. All right, we continue. What are these? What are these? Very good, Luz, Natalie, lady, shoes. Yes, remember that shoes puede referirse a zapatos en general o a unos zapatos un poco más elegantes. Zapatos, yes. Shoes, formal shoes, yes. We continue. Well, here we have this exercise online. Yes, we are going to do this one here, but I'm going to share the link. Les voy a compartir por acá el link in the chat. That we are going to do. Para las personas que los quieran hacer después. Um, wait a second. I'm going to share the link over here in my screen. Okay. Are we seeing the web page? Estamos viendo la página web. Yes, we have some drawings, well, some images here about the clothes. Now, yes. Okay. Perfect. So. It's very simple, this is very easy. We have the images over here on the right. 
on the left, we have the options. Yes, yeah, so you're going to tell me what is the correct name for each clothes, for each cloth. Number one, image number one. What is this? A jacket, yes, very easy. It's a jacket. Image number two, what is that? Very good, Natalie. That is a blues, yes, a blues. So, it's blues, blues, or here. Image number three, what is that? Jeans, yes, jeans. Image number four, what is that? A dress, very good, Jessica. So, a dress. Image number five, number five, skirt, skirt. And finally, we have a jumper. Jumper. Yes, remember jumper. Un suéter o un buzo. También puede servir para buzo. Jumper. We're going to check all of them correct. Very good. Questions or doubts so far? Well, I'm going to continue with the PDF. So, or here. Okay, so look at this. Here we have this exercise is similar to the previous one, yes? On the right, we have the options, we have the vocabulary. On the left, we have the drawings, we have the clothes, yes? So I'm going to uh, make a square here and you're going to tell me what is the correct name for that cloth. okay? So first we are going to clarify the... Um, or here, the vocabulary. But I need to put this smaller. Okay. Can you see all the letters over here, the words? Podemos ver las palabras, ¿verdad? Sí. ¿Está bien la imagen? Is it good, the image? Okay. Thank you. So, we are going to read. Boots, gloves, jacket, jumper, scarf, Shoes, skirt, socks, sunglasses, swimsuit, tracksuit, trainers, trousers. So, questions or doubts? Questions or doubts so far? Preguntas o dudas? Well, yes, here we have the umbrella, but it is at the end, yes. Uh, hello, Andres. So today we are going to focus on vocabulary because I, we need this vocabulary for tomorrow's class. Necesitamos el vocabulario del día de hoy para ver el tema gramatical de la clase de mañana, para que mañana no nos centremos tanto en el vocabulario, sino ya como tal en las preposiciones que vamos a utilizar, yes. Okay, so uh, here we have the umbrella. You know umbrella? How do you say umbrella in Spanish? Sombrilla, yes. O paraguas. Some people say paraguas. Okay. Well, here we have these ones. Swimsuit, track suit. Suit, traje. Yes. Swimsuit. What is swimsuit? The word suit is traje. Traje de baño, yes. O vestido de baño, you say vestido de baño. And here we have track suit. Track suit. Um, esto ya hace referencia a la sudadera como tal. O sea, la sudadera y la chaqueta también de sudadera que lo utilizan los deportistas. Este conjunto deportivo se llama track suit. Track suit. Yes. So over here we have the images. You are going to tell me what is the correct name for each one. Yes. So image number one. What is that? Number four. Jumper. Yes. Correct. That is a jumper. So here, number one. Number four, sorry. Image number two. What is that? Umbrella. Yes. 
That was number 15. Yes, umbrella, number 15. Image number three. What is that? Swimsuit, yes. So number 10, swimsuit. Number 10. Image number four. Image number four. Seven, skirt. Very good. It's a skirt. Image number five. What is that? Yes, sunglasses. So number nine, sunglasses. Number nine over here. What is this? What is this? Very good, Renata. T-shirt. What is T-shirt? Number 14. T-shirt. 14. We continue over here. What is that? A truck suit. Yes, a truck suit. So I'm going to raise this. That is a truck suit, 11. We continue here. What is that? Jeans, but there is another word. So trousers. Yes, very good, Victoria. Trousers here, 13. Yes, pantalones, trousers. So 13. We continue. What are these? Number eight, socks. Eight. We continue here. What is this? That is a scarf. Very good. Number five, scarf. Number five. Here. What is this? Number three, jacket, correct, jacket. So here, number three. Well, look at this, I'm going to explain you something. Remember that shoes, pueden ser zapatos en general o zapatos formales, ¿sí? En este caso, estos son unos tenis, ¿sí? No sé si se vea muy bien la imagen, está un poquito lejos, pero son unos tenis. Por lo tanto, debemos utilizar the word trainers, trainers, Quiere decir tenis. Yes, tenis. All right, so this is number 12. Number 12. 12. Trainers, yes. Okay, so I'm going to raise this to go down a little. Here we have this image. What are these? What are these? Gloves, yes. Globes. Well, I guess we don't have the numbers, so I'm going to write it here. Globes. Now they are kind of formal. Un poco formales. So we say shoes. Yes, shoes. Well, so I'm going to write it here. Shoes. Right? Shoes. And finally, we have the boots. Very good, Andres, Paula. Boots, which is, I guess, is number one, but I'm going to write it. Boots. Okay. Questions so far? Because we are going to continue with this last exercise about the clouds. Vamos a terminar con este ejercicio, eh, las prendas de vestir, ¿ok? Ya vamos a continuar con el siguiente tema. But before that, we are going to do this exercise. So it is very simple. Es muy sencillo. Here we have some characters. Acá tenemos algunos personajes. Yes, some characters. And here we have the description. What these characters are using. Yes. Um, yes, there, there is um, a word tennis for that. That is correct. Trainers, maybe trainers is more like a British um, like a British word, yes? 
You are welcome, Andres. See you. Take care. All right. So, according to what these people are using, you are going to tell me what is the correct description, okay? De acuerdo a lo que los eh, personajes están usando, vamos a decir cuál es la descripción correcta de cada uno. So, we are going to read. Um, is it good the image here? Yes. La imagen está bien como para alcanzar a ver los personajes y las descripciones. Is it good the image? All right, no problem. I'm going to put it here. Now, yes? Is good? Okay. So, we are going to begin with number one. Laura is wearing jeans and a pink shirt. Also is wearing a brown belt. So, Laura is wearing jeans. Acá ya tenemos una pista. Jeans. A pink shirt. A pink shirt shirt also is wearing a brown belt brown belt acá tenemos una palabra nueva belt quiere decir cinturón o correa cinturón o correa yes so what is the character cuál es el personaje que estamos describiendo acá number one two three four five six seven or eight there are eight and characters. The third, the third, yes. So there is the third, el tercer personaje. Jeans, pink shirt, pink shirt, brown belt, un cinturón café, o oh, una correa café, yes. We continue. Mark is wearing brown shoes. Pay attention. Brown shoes. Zapatos cafés. Brown shoes. Black belt. Un cinturón negro. Black belt. Blue jeans. Los jeans azules. And a red t-shirt. Una camiseta roja. What is the character? Number four, very good, Caterine, Marcela. The fourth, el cuarto, this one. The fourth, very good. We continue. Here. Paul is wearing brown boots. Pay attention. Brown boots, botas, cafés, brown boots. Blue jean, yes, here we have this error. Blue jean. And a green t-shirt. Una camiseta verde. A green t-shirt. Very good, Marcela, Caterine, Natalie. Number one. This is the character number one. A green t-shirt. Jeans. Well, blue jeans and brown boots. Okay. We continue with this one over here. Fred. Hi. Fred is wearing black shoes. Pay attention. Black shoes. A denim jacket. Denim jacket. Quiere decir una chaqueta de jean o una chaqueta de vaquero. Sí, ya depende del contexto. Denim jacket. Green pants. Pantalones verdes. And, vamos, nos toca bajar un poquito para ver la otra descripción. And beige shirt. Una camisa, camisa manga larga, beige. So, which character? Number eight, yes. Número ocho. Look. Denim jacket. La chaqueta de jean que, pues, bueno, acá en el dibujito no está muy bien, pero pues, entendemos un poquito. Beige shirt. Una camisa manga larga, beige uh, green pants, pantalones verdes, and I don't remember the, the shoes, black shoes, yes. All right, we continue with this one. 
Lucy is wearing brown high heels, pantyhose, a gray jacket, and a light blue skirt. High heels. Heels, tacones. ¿sí? Tacones. Si nos dicen high, es el adjetivo altos. High heels, tacones altos. Which color? Brown. Cafés. Los tacones altos cafés. Yes. What's um, here? Pantyhose quiere decir apretado. Pantyhose. A gray jacket. Una chaqueta gris. Gray jacket. And a light blue skirt. Una blusita azul. Podría decir azul clarito. Yes. So, let's look for this one. What is the character according to the description? Well, we are going to look again over here. Brown high heels, gray jacket and a light blue skirt. Acá nos dicen que tiene falda, skirt. Por lo tanto, la única chica que tiene falda is this one. Number six. Yes, number six. Okay. Yes, the person number six. We continue. Nos faltaba este, ¿verdad? The slender. Kate is wearing black boots, two blouses, one green and the other one is blue. And gray pants. So over here we have this um, this description. Pay attention because we have two blouses, two blouses, dos blouses, two blouses. One is green, one is green, una es verde, one is green. The other one is blue. The other one is blue. So I'm going to show you over here. And gray pants, gray pants. Pantalones grises. So, two blouses, two blouses. Yes, number seven, number seven. Two blouses, gray pants. Yes, dos blusas y pantalón gris. Eh, well, we continue here. Tammy is wearing, Tammy está usando, Tammy is wearing boots. Green blues, una blusa verde, green blues, and gray pants, pantalones grises de nuevo. Green blues, gray pants. Number, very good blues, number two, or the second, very good. So, green blues, una blusita verde, bueno, es un verde un poco extraño, and gray pants. Pantalones grises, gray pants. And we are going to finish with this one. Susan is wearing blue leggings, blue boots, green blues, fucsia ponytail, and same color of skirt. Lo voy a poner un poquito más grande para que podamos ver acá estas. This description. Look. Susan is wearing blue leggings. Blue leggings, yes. Blue boots, las botas azules, blue boots. Green blues, green blues, una blusa verde. Fucsia, fucsia, ponytail. Ponytail es una, eh, ¿cómo se dice? Una moñita con la que las chicas nos cogimos el cabello. Ponytail es cuando se hace una cola de caballo en el cabello. Ponytail, ¿sí? Eh, pero esto se refiere a la moñita como tal, a la moña con la que uno se, se peina. Same color of skirt. Same color of skirt. Esto quiere decir el mismo color de la falda, o sea. Ponytail, de ponytail, la moñita es del mismo color, same color. Of the skirt, de la falda. So, you are going to tell me what is that character que tiene la muñita del mismo color de la falda. The ponytail is the same as the skirt. Very good. So, number uh, five. Yes, number five. 
Look, here we have the ponytail. Acá tenemos la colita, the ponytail, la moña, and the skirt. Yes, y la falta. All right, students, questions or doubts about this topic, about the clothes? Preguntas o dudas acerca de las prendas de vestir? Because we are going to change to this other topic. Vamos a cambiar en este momento. Um, otro tema que vamos a ver un, un poquito, como una abrebocas del siguiente tema, ¿sí? Porque es un poco extenso, por lo tanto, eh, nos va a tomar dos clasecitas. Well, here we have leggings. Leggings. Eh, what can we say about that? Esto es más que todo como una prenda de vestir deportiva, ¿sí? Es una prenda de vestir deportiva que usualmente utilizan las mujeres. Es como una licra, más o menos una licra, un ciclista, yes. Eh, wearing, eh, over here, wearing, usando, ¿sí? Usando, llevando puesto, usando o llevando puesto. More questions? All right, so I'm going to raise this. Wait a second, we are going to continue with this other topic. Well, vamos a continuar entonces con los medios de transporte. Means of transport. Are we seeing the PDF? Yes, here we have this card, McQueen. Estamos viendo el PDF, yes. Ok, perfecto. Look, um, este tema es un poquito extenso porque la idea es aprender el vocabulario de los medios de transporte. Medios de transporte, en inglés, we say, means of transport. Means of transport, ok. Means of transport. Medios de transporte. So, today we are going to learn a couple of um, vocabulary. No, el día de hoy vamos a aprender un poco el vocabulario de los medios de transporte para que el día de mañana podamos ver las preposiciones que se utilizan con estos medios de transporte, ¿sí? Hoy la clase está centrada un poco hacia el vocabulario para que el día de mañana no nos centremos en vocabulario, sino que nos centremos en la gramática como tal, ¿sí? Vamos a, a aprender un vocabulario específico, unas preposiciones en específicas que van de acuerdo a los eh, medios de transporte. So, we have here the car, yes, the car. We have here a fire engine, a fire engine. How do you say fire engine in Spanish? Carro de bomberos, fire engine. Carro de bomberos, yes. We continue. Police car, we have the police car. We have the taxi, we have the taxi. We have the jeep, yes, the jeep, like in Spanish. We have the van. Yes, the van. We have the tow truck. Tow truck. How do you say tow truck in Spanish? What is this in Spanish? Una grúa, yes. Una grúa. We continue. Then we have the truck, truck, camion, okay? Truck, camion. We have the tractor, tractor, yes, similar to Spanish, tractor. We have another truck, tenemos otro camion, un poquito más pequeño. We say truck, yes. We have the bus, the bus, yes. 
in the bus. We have the ambulance, the ambulance, similar to Spanish, yes, similar to Spanish. Here we have this one, motorhome, motorhome. How do you say motorhome in Spanish? Casa Rodante, yes, very good, very good, Victoria. O campero, si también se podría decir campero. Casa rodante o campero. Yes, motorhome. Motorhome. We continue. We have the helicopter, similar to Spanish. Yes, pretty similar to Spanish. We have the plane, it's also similar to Spanish. We have the water truck. Water truck. How do you say water truck in Spanish? La pipa de agua o el carro de agua o el camión de agua, cisterna, o carro tanque. Yes. All right. We continue. We have another plane. Another plane. We have the train. Yes, the train. We have a ship. Barco, ship. We have a motorcycle, motorcycle. Or we can also say motorbike, motorbike. Yes, another option, motorbike. We have the bicycle or we can also say bike. Yes, this is another option, bike, the bike. We have a tank, yes, tank. We continue. We have a judge, judge, jati, judge. Then we have the rocket. How do you say rocket in Spanish? Cohete, yes. Cohete, rocket. Here we have a wagon, wagon, wagon puede ser un carruaje, una carroza, o puede ser el vagón de un tren, yes, tiene dos significados, eh, ya depende del contexto, wagon, wagon. Here we have a balloon, balloon, remember that balloon también puede significar los globos de una fiesta, ¿sí? O las bombas de una fiesta, los globos, ¿sí? En este caso, ¿ves? es el medio de transporte. Balloon. We continue here. We have the motorboat. Motorboat, que viene siendo como una lancha. Motorboat, yes. Here we have again the bus, we have the train, we have the van, we have the truck, we have the airplane, we have the helicopter, and we have the air hot balloon. Well, remember that is with double O, double O, yes? Air hot balloon is the long name or the long term. Este es el nombre ya larguito. Por decirlo así. Eh, acá están especificando que es un globo de aire caliente, ¿sí? Este es el mecanismo que utiliza este medio de transporte. Air hot, balloon. Air hot, aire caliente. Yes. Pero podemos decir simplemente balloon. Balloon. No problem. We continue. Here we have a boat boat we have a ship barco yes ship barco we have motorbike or motorcycle two options we have bike or bicycle 
two options. Yes. We have the submarine, submarine. And then we have this exercise. Look, on the right, on the right, we have the options. Yes, we have the means of transport. On the left, we have the means of transport, the images. So you are going to tell me what is the correct name for each image. Yes, ustedes me van a decir cuál es el nombre correcto para cada imagen. Number one, what is this? Boat, yes, boat. Number five, we continue. What is this? Twelve, bicycle. Image number three, what is this? Number six, a bus. Following image, what is this? Air hot balloon. Yes, number 10, eight, air hot balloon. The following image, la imagen siguiente, the following image. A car, yes, very easy, a car. Here, what is this? A train, yes. Number two train the following image what is this 11 yes motorbike or motorcycle here what is that very good marcela lady a ban yes number nine here what is this An airplane, yes. Number seven, an airplane. Here, what is this? A truck. A truck, which is number eight. Number eight. The following image, what is this? Number three, ship. Ship. Barco, yes, ship. And finally, what is that? That's a helicopter. That's a helicopter. Number four. Helicopter. All right. I'm going to repeat the words over here. Yes. So we have car, train, ship, helicopter, boat, bus, airplane, truck, van, air hot balloon, motorbike, bicycle. Yes. So, look, students, tomorrow we are going to learn these prepositions. Um, el día de mañana vamos a ver estas tres preposiciones que van acompañadas con los medios de transporte, que son la preposición on, la preposición in y la preposición by. Yes. Um, nosotros ya vimos preposición on y preposición in cuando vimos las preposiciones de lugar. Pero estas ya van a ser preposiciones con los medios de transporte, por lo tanto es un tema nuevo, vamos a utilizar las mismas palabras sí, porque el inglés es un idioma muy compacto, donde una palabra puede significar varias cosas en este caso vamos a repetir estas dos eh, preposiciones la preposición nueva que vamos a ver el día de mañana va a ser by, ¿sí? esta la vamos a ver mañana estas tres preposiciones las vamos a ver con los medios de transporte, por lo tanto, eh, sería muy bueno que pues, llegáramos a la clase de mañana con el vocabulario ya fresquito, ¿sí? Entonces, para que repasemos, queda como de tareita repasar un poco el vocabulario de los medios de transporte para que mañana podamos centrarnos en las preposiciones, en el tema como tal gramatical y no tanto en el tema de vocabulario, ¿ok? So, questions or doubts about the means of transport? Preguntas o dudas acerca de los medios de transporte o acerca de las prendas de vestir. About clothes or about means of transport. No questions? All right. So if you don't have questions, we can uh, finish the class now. Yes. Um, I will see you tomorrow at uh, 2 p.m. Yes, at 2 p.m. Uh, or at 2 o'clock. So please be punctual.
Tomorrow we will see a very important topic. El día de mañana vamos a ver un tema muy, muy importante. All right, so take care. Have a nice day. I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.